Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and I kind of had to drop everything so I could do, so I could open this guy. Uh, it's Aliens! And it's an Aliens board game by Gale Force 9. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this. Gale Force 9 has given me this to thoroughly enjoy. They had probably had absolutely no idea that I was an Aliens fan, but who isn't? Really? I mean, oh my gosh. Okay, I, there's a reason I don't actually watch... There's a reason I don't actually watch it over and over again, because it entirely creeps me out. Oh my gosh, creeps me out. But I still really like it, and I'm still really excited about this. And since I started playing XCOM, I just have to watch all Aliens movies anyway, because I just love it, so I'm, like, super excited. Rule book? Well, look, it's just a little thing. I'm used to the rule books, but you have to use your strength to carry them. So this makes it look like it's going to be straightforward and fun. Ooh, look at that. Mission. Newt! Oh, we're gonna find Newt. Poor little newt. Oh, assembly guide. Oh, fancy. Uh, aliens, Marines, one assembly guide. We're gonna have all of our little characters, probably. Oh, there's a newt. Oh, it is Ellie, uh, Ellen Ripley, Corporal Dwayne Hicks, uh, Lieutenant Scott Gorman, newt. Private William L. Hudson, Private Jeanette Vasquez. Oh, is that is she the she is she must be the lady that like is super into it. I have to watch this again. It's been too long. Uh, Private Rico Frosty Frost. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the aliens. Oh, this could be so creepy. Oh, we've got four different ones from the looks of it. Four different aliens. Do we have a little creepy guys? Oh, okay, gotcha. These look like super straightforward to put together. Um, I wonder what kind of plastic they are. Probably have to put them together with super glue. I'm assuming that there are going to be a resin. We're going to try that out. I've got super glue right next to me. Um, I've got cool tokens. Alien tokens, barricaded. Looks like a machine gun to set up. Oh, poor. Oh my gosh, so we do have these guys, but they're just in token form. Because it would be pretty small. Pretty small in the... Uh, in the um, miniature form. Broken doors. Mm, barricaded. Barricaded. So... A little bit of difference on the different sides. Okay. Alright. Oh! Turn counters, maybe? These could be useful for other things, other games besides. Do you see that? Interesting. It looks like you might... Well, I guess I shouldn't even guess what they are for. Well, we'll find out. Ah. A and B. Interesting. wonder what we shall be creating. Oh, and they've got the pictures, just in case you've forgotten who's who. I think I'd want to put them into sleeves right away. They're pretty, see, they're pretty thick cardboard. Ah, she is the, she, I like her. She's intense. I saw we roll. I say we roll them in there and nerve gas the whole nest. We've been trained to deal with situations like this. What the hell are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language. Cool. Man. So this is like the first newt. Uh, 
Another glorious day in the Corps. A day in the Marine Corps is like a day on the farm. Every meal's a banquet, every paycheck's a fortune, every formation a parade. I love the Corps. Reshuffle. Oh, this is where you put your library, I guess. Interesting. <gasps> corridors. Oh, corridors. Imagine how... Are they going to be horrifying where... Do you see that? Corridors? Are they going to be horrifying where you don't actually see the alien until you turn the corridor and... Ta-da! There he is! If they were able to do that, that'd be pretty cool. Ooh. Oh my goodness, we've gotten into deep... Deeper trouble! Deeper trouble! Oh, awesome. More corridors. It's the same. No, it's a bit different. It's cool. I don't have it exactly the same. Oh my gosh. So scary. Whew. All unique pieces. I wonder if they mapped out the entire spot based on the movie, which would be super cool. I mean, why wouldn't you, I suppose? It looks good. Ah, oh, makes you want to watch the movie again. I should have totally done that, but I was too excited. Ah, oh, that was a zoo. Oh my god, it's Stay away. Oh, it's in green. Okay. Okay, so it's plastic. Oh, and let me. All the good guys or humans are in green, and the aliens are all in black. Four screws of them. All right, here they all are, 23 miniatures. And the models look good. Here's Ripley, and as you can see, she has got a lot of detail. These are small models, and yet she's recognizably Ripley. And all the details for every model is there. Um, let me just grab another one. This guy. All right. So all of the places that they connect make sense to hide the connection, which is very nice. There's no random enormous mold line anywhere. They are tidily attached. The, the separate pieces are tidily attached to each other. I was pleased with that for, for sure. Um, and all the detail, all the detail are really there. I haven't attached the, the little guys to their bases so that I could paint the bases separately, except for the, the aliens, their toes are connected to the base, but I guess the aliens are going to be in dark anyway. But uh, for these guys, if you don't want to um, add to their if you want to paint it separately, you can. But look at all that detail. Oh my goodness. Such great detail. So for the aliens themselves, they are absolutely well done. Uh, the only difficulty was attaching the tail. The tails didn't quite attach well, but because you've got the spines to work with on the tails, you can really easily snip off a little bit and then connect them so that the, the their spine from their bum the, from their bums connect well with the spines on the tails. So that wasn't too difficult, um, and their arms are completely. You can maneuver their arms to be whichever angle that you want them to be. I just. Um, change them to sort of match their legs because the legs are not changeable but there's four different styles of legs so I just made the arms look as naturally as I could and there's uh, 32 heads so you get 16 aliens but there are 32 heads uh, and eight varieties within those 32 heads uh, so there is a lot of variety I made every single alien just a little bit different from one another and here's this fellow with the little little extra mouth coming out. It's lovely. It's horrifying. So much nice detail on all of these guys. Oh my goodness. Really well done. 
I was expecting resin, but these are plastic. You need uh, hobby cutters, a hobby knife, and plastic glue, and you'll be putting them together in no time. This is not included, but it's a Tyranid from um, Warhammer 40k, for anyone familiar with it. And I'm just showing you the scale. They are to scale pretty closely. The alien is thinner, but I see some pretty cool proxies in the future. Their tails are pretty big, pretty long, might get in the way. Um, but you could really easily slice them off. So a lot of conversions. Bring aliens for your alien army. They fit right in for size. Um, and also, I don't have a guardsman, but these characters could totally be a guardsman group. Here's a vanguard for Admech. Um, to show you the scale, they are basically the same size and height for if you wanted to add these to a Warhammer 40k army, which would which would be so much fun. Yeah, so much fun. Ooh. Kind of paperish. Want to be careful with these. Mission one. To win this mission. You need to locate and recover Newt, and then escape the board with her alive. In this mission, Newt is not part of your squad. Instead, her token and the three other mission blip tokens are flipped face down, shuffled, and placed, or indicated on the board. Well, that, that sounds fun already. I'm assuming that there's like four different things, and it's like, wait, she could be here. She could be there. She could be there. Oh, it's, it seems pretty... Game over, man! Hmm. <laughs> I was waiting for that one. Escape. Oh, it's in order? Mission 1. Oh, mission 1, Newt. Mission 2, Escape. Mission 3, Survive. And a rescue mission. A supply mission. A big hunt, Hadley's Hope. Bug, oh sorry, bug hunt, Hadley's Hope. Atmosphere processing plant. Bug hunt, outpost, Alpha 116. And supply depot. And you build all of these maps, but on the other side is exactly what's happening. Oh, um, so, so uh, Let's see, what else do we have? Oh. oh, we've got the little things that are going to make the whirly pieces. We've got 2d10s and a d6. What kind of star is at the 10? No, the star must be the 1. Yeah, star is the 1. I wonder what that entails. We've got some... our little reminder cards. Okay, that's handy. Marine phase, marine phase, marine phase, marine phase. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool, since it's 1 to 6 players, they've got it so that every person knows uh, has a little reminder card. I would only need one, for example, because I'll be playing by myself and I shall have a grand time. And then these guys, Alien Scout. Oh, is this going to be the special things that happen and you don't know when they're going to happen? Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I like board games. <gasps> All right. Cool. The backs of them are... I think someone's closing in. That's a lot of creatures coming in at you. It's gonna be a problem. Okay. Alien Scout. Exhaust one card for each character within line of sight of this blip. When it spawns, exhaust one card for each character. That's not it's very good. Oh, there's more than one, too. Four. Alien Vanguard. Place another blip at spawn point two. Place another blip at spawn point one. Does this mean we're getting blips and it's like, what is this? Is it, is it an ally? Is it a bad thing? We're getting blips because we don't know what they are. If this blip is not placed on a spawn point within line of sight of a character, it immediately moves four spaces. 
Ooh. Oh, creepy, 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 creepy. Exhaust six cards. That doesn't sound good. If there is one or more exclamation point cards in the discard pile, randomly select select one or more exclamation card to shuffle back into the exhaust card pile. What are these exclamation point cards? Uh, uh, recycle one card. Recycle one card. False alarm. Uh. Uh, if the spawn point already has a blip or alien model, move this blip four paces, spaces towards the nearest character. <laughs> I love it so, so it's both very. You love it when the NPC just moves towards you. Uh, players must either discard one barricade in play or place a second blip at spawn point one. If there are no barricades in play, then players must place the extra blip. <laughs> ah, it's, 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 it's super fun. Each character in line of sight of one or more aliens must discard one card. Overwhelming horde. <laughs> After you place blips, move each blip. I'm starting to not like blips. After you place blips, move each blip in play three spaces. Okay. Place a tunnel token in a square that is within line of sight and next to this character. They're inside the perimeter. Reveal a card. Da da da. Place one blip on the tunnel token. Da da da. Place two blips on every tunnel token. Oh, it doesn't sound good. I don't know what that's going to happen. Recycle card. False alarms. Flanking aliens. Just the best kind of aliens. Players must choose to either exhaust four cards or place one more blip at spawn point four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. At spawn point three, spawn point one, spawn point two. Place a tunnel token. They're in the ceiling. Great. Place a tunnel token in a square that is within line of sight and next to this character. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Two blips on this tunnel token, or three blips on the tunnel tokens, on all tunnel tokens. If this hidden attack, if this card's blips are placed on a spawn point in line of sight of a character, discard four cards. Recycle one card. Turned off the lights. They're all coming. They're everywhere. They mostly come out at night. Mostly. Oh my gosh. Intense. Be intense. I gotta be freaking out. Mm hmm. Ooh, weapons. M4A, a pulse rifle. M4A, M41A pulse rifle. Exhaust a card when you take an attack action with this weapon. Okay. After you take an attack action with this weapon, you may take an additional attack action using a grenade weapon equipped to this character. Nice. Oh, oh, pulse rifles, M40 uh, uh, grenades. Discard this card to make an attack action with this weapon. Yeah, uh, choose the space that is within four spaces of your character and in line of sight. Roll for each model and token in that space and within one space of it. This weapon hit, always hits on a roll of six or less. Oh, right, because they're... <laughs> I'm going to assume that it's dealing with the D10s. Because I was like, <laughs> always hits on a six or less. I mean, I feel there's gonna be some D10s rolling. Uh, Ithaca, Ithaca 37 shotgun. Gain minus one to your defense rolls. Exhaust one card when you take the attack action with this weapon. Well, we've got, can figure that how that works. Cost two, cost one, cost three, interesting. I wonder how you determine that. All right. Ithaca 37 shotgun, M56 smart guns, HK VP70 pistols, M240 flamethrowers. That's what I want. Flamethrowers. Arc welder. Discard this card to barricade a door within one space of your car. Okay. Hadley's hope map, body armor, shoulder lamp, flares, helmets. Motion tracker. Yeah, that sounds good. 
bypass medical scanner look sharp do something gorman it's ready it's reading right man look building better worlds i feel safer already go to sleep and don't dream we got knives we got sharp sticks do it fast keep moving baby last stand okay what to do what do i do just deal with it resolve stop your grinning ever been mistaken for a man we're in the pipe five by five you always were an asshole. Did IQs just drop sharply? I very much enjoyed that. Squad of ultimate badasses. Somebody wake up Hicks. Stand up one any. Stand up anyone knocked down. You can get knocked down? Oh no. Burke's treachery. Burke. Game over, man. Blinding rage. Losing hope. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Sounds super fun. Oh, super fun. Alright. Now, let's check out that rule book. See how straightforward this game is anyway. Another glorious day in the core. Corporation survival game. Oh boy. I want to know. I had to play with this one player, two players, three players, six players. Alright. Here are components. Do -do -do -do. Marine dice, alien dice. Ah, so the marines have the D tens and the alien die. Alien die is D6. Blip tokens. Mission blip tokens. Yep, 16 aliens. Game set up. Choose a mission. Alright, so it's probably pretty straightforward. Alright. Let's have a look. Choose a mission to play uh, from the mission cards. If you are playing the campaign, this will be mission one, Newt. Totally playing the campaign. Totally. I wonder how many people are going to die. <laughs> Set up the game boards as indicated by the chosen mission card and put that card organizer nearby. Sure. Example. Player one, player two, player grunts, player three, player four, grunts. Okay. Each player chooses a character and places their character card in front of them with its hero side up. Place the remaining character cards nearby with their grunt side up. Okay. So I get to choose one character. Hmm. And everyone else are my grunts. Feels like I should choose Ripley. Like it would be wrong if I was the only person and I didn't choose Ripley, but I don't know. Maybe I want someone else to be non grunt. Oh, Alright. Place the remaining character cards nearby with the grunt side up. Players gear up their heroes and grunts with equipment and weapon. From this stack of endurance cards. Well, we knew, so these ones are called endurance cards. Hmm. Okay, create the endurance deck by shuffling all remaining equipment and weapons cards with the rest of the endurance cards and set it in the card organizer. Place the reshuffle card underneath the endurance deck. Okay. Give each character an aim dial and set them up to match the aim number on the character card. Follow the mission card's instructions to create the motion tracker deck, then set it in the card organizer. Follow the mission card's instructions to place spawn, point, blip, and other mission tokens on the board. Set all remaining blip tokens aside in a token pool with the numbers face down and shuffled. Place all of the alien models and alien tokens next to the blip token pool. Whew. Place characters in their starting locations. If the mission calls for a turn dial, set it to one and place it near the board. Follow the mission card's instructions to place the exit token. Place the activation token next to the hero character with the highest rank. Cool. Mission cards, game boards, Hadley's Hope or Atmosphere Processor. Character cards. 
grunts. Okay, so we know basically what a character card is. Grunts are characters that are not assigned to any one player, but instead are activated by the group. Grunts can be activated by hero characters. If a player hero's, hero's dies or is captured, they may choose a grunt to replace their hero. Sure. There are two types of characters, marines and civilians. Okay. Heroes. Each player controls one hero character. Heroes have better numbers than their grunt version. Hmm. They also have access to special abilities and rules to help them with their mission. Marine heroes also have a rank which determines play order and allows players to control a certain number of grunt characters during their turn. Okay. Newt is not available until you have completed the first mission. If a player's hero is Ripley, then that player also uses Newt as a hero. If Ripley is a grunt, then Newt is a grunt as well. Cute. Ripley and Newt share a hand of cards but have separate activations. Newt cannot equip weapons cards. Well. Gear up characters, build endurance deck. Important! If at any time there are no cards in the endurance deck and the exhaust pile, all players immediately lose the game so managing the endurance deck is essential to your survival yeah that does seem important in a bug hunt mission players do not get any starting equipment or weapons other than the hk vp70 pistol well that's what you want to do with a going on a bug hunt a pistol grunts never have cards in hand if any game effect would put a card into a grunt's hand, they instead put that card on the bottom of the exhaust pile. Cool. Aim dials. Motion tracker deck. Spawn points and blip tokens. Alien models and tokens. Turn dial, exit tokens, activation tokens. Starting characters. Uh, character model starting location. Their endurance deck. Revealing cards. Exhaust pile, game board elements, all of that looks like spaces, walls, you can't stand in a wall, I'm assuming. Uh, doors, you can walk through doors, barricades, you can't walk through those. Models can't move or see through them, but they can attempt to break through. Barricaded doors are marked with the barricaded token. Discard pile, all of this seems pretty straightforward. Game turn, the marine phase. Step three, step one, step step one, step two, step three. Reset, aim dial, resolve all activation abilities, equipped endurance cards, perform up to two actions. Line of sight. Probably pretty straightforward. Let's see. A model has line of sight to another model token or an object on the game board if it can draw a straight line from any part of their space to any part of the target's space. Base without passing through another character wall or closed door. So that's easy enough. Everything is on squares. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, everything is on squares. Okay, so it's to the space rather than the model. Full auto. Mm -hmm. Barricade. Action. Aim. Character taking. Very curious. A character taking the aim action increases the number on their aim dial by one. This can result in the aim dial's number being higher than the aim number on its character card. Okay. A character's aim dial cannot fall below one or be raised above ten. Sure. I'm sure that will make sense. When we get to alien phase, captured, a knocked down character starts an alien turn with at least one alien model in a space next to them is captured and removed from play along with one of the alien models next to them and any alien tokens it has captured characters may be rescued by playing the rescue mission mm -hmm. step two activate blips Ah, step three, draw motion tracker cards. Yeah, finish phase. 
mission rules, campaign play, which is what I would totally be doing. Uh, losing endurance score, final campaign score, extra missions, so are the rescue missions and the resupply missions, bug hunt missions are oh, bug hunt missions are standalone games that pit your marines against the aliens in a fight to the death. Uh huh. Your marines must survive until all of the cards in the motion tracker deck are gone, and all alien models and blip tokens have been killed. If at least one character survives, sounds like that's not going to happen very often, all of the players win. If all of the characters are killed or you run out of endurance cards, all of the players lose. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those blips. Ah, oh, gosh. In bug hunt missions, characters do not get any starting equipment or weapons other than HKVP70 pistol each. Do not use Newt in these missions. Why would you go bug hunting? Again, with an HKVP70 pistol, and that is it. You're just looking. That is really gruesome. Oh my gosh, gruesome. Oh my gosh. I might be kicked off of YouTube for that one. Mission tokens, computers and crates, sentry guns, face huggers. <laughs> Facehuggers act exactly the same as alien models in every way. However, when a character fails its defense role against a facehugger attack, they are not killed. Instead, place the facehugger token on that character's card. If the character survives this mission, it is nevertheless counted as killed at the end of this campaign. Oh boy. Wonderful. <laughs> Sometimes there are places in the game where the aliens will have options, such as when it has to choose to attack one or two players that are equally close to it. In these cases, the player with the highest rank determines what the player aliens will do. If there is a tie in rank, then those players will need to resolve the question together. Figure it out, guys. Uh, rerolls. There are some cards and abilities that allow for rerolls. Mm, computers and crates. That's cool. Sentry guns. That'll be handy. Okay, so doesn't seem to have any specific. Each of the game's missions can be played individually as a standalone experience or linked together as part of an ongoing campaign that track each player's progress and experience as they move through the story. But I said one to six, but it doesn't seem to have to give you anything more the, than the fact that if you're playing by yourself, you've got one character and the rest are grunts. But it says the characters have bonuses only on when they're not a grunt. So on activation, recycle two endurance cards and draw one card versus Ooh, grunt side speed five defense six melee two six tech seven aim speed defense melee five tech and aim all down no special abilities so are you saying that if you play by yourself it is harder than if you play with six people <laughs> what i i know it's just to speed things up i suppose but I guess if you're by yourself. It'd be a lot of things to remember, I suppose. Seven different characters, yes. I suppose that's seven including Newt, though. Well, just let's have a look. Let's check it out. Say we want to do this bug hunt where we're just taking pistols because we're foolish. Um, blips start there. Starting spaces are here. It's a pretty sizable board. Place spawn tokens there <laughs> when more aliens can come anytime. Place crate tokens. Players may place two sentry gun tokens anywhere on the board and set turn dial to one. Cool. 
those sentry gun tokens are going to be super important. And then you start going ahead. You start moving forward. And this is a... What, how do you... Oh, right. That's the result. You just have to survive. When does it end? Bug hunt. It ends when? When does the bug hunt end? Bug hunt missions. You must survive until all of the cards in the motion tracker deck are gone. Okay, so no more bugs. Oh, that's a pretty big deck though. Right. Survival mode. You are trapped in the supply depot and you must survive as long as you can as you can against a full xenomorph alien assault. Characters do not start yes, you only get the pistol. Uh, this token in indicates a computer that characters can interact with uh, on the board. A character in the space next to the computer token may take an interact action and perform a tech test. If you pass, you may look at any one face down blip token. Check it out. What do the blips look like anyway? Don't tell me that is the number of aliens on a blip. Because that would be creepy. That that, that would be... Ta oh my gosh, it is. <laughs> I was like, well, what in the world could be worse than knowing that an alien is there? Four of them. That's what's worse. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it just got scarier. I remember only having to deal with one at a time in this, unless until it got really bad in the movie, but you could just start off with just five. Do you have to do, okay. Right, great, just, that's not good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sure, so if, if you pass, you may look at any one face down blip token. That is useful information. Uh, what do the crate tokens do? A character may take an interact action with the crate token to equip for free a weapon or equipment card from their hand or from the endurance stick. Then remove the crate token from the game. Okay, that sounds great. Yeah, let's do that. Game over, man. In this game, there are no exits. You and your squad must survive until all cards in the motion tracker deck are gone. <gasps> motion tracker deck. Shuffle five random threat level one and five random threat level two cards together and set these ten cards aside for the moment. Shuffle the rest of the motion tracker cards together, then place the ten cards on top of the motion tracker deck. So I was like, well, maybe in this bug hunt, you're not going to get this whole stack of cards so you'd have a great chance of surviving but no you're getting all of these cards that is an awful lot of aliens that you have to deal with and there are only seven a little girl no six and a little girl oh wait no you're not taking um newt with you on this because that would be very very neglectful of a girl if you went bug hunting with pistols and you took the little girl along. So there's six of you and you're starting off you're definitely starting off with bug 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 bun hunt. Oh yeah. With twelve To a whole lot more aliens against six. You have got to be some powerful people. Are just lucky. Place two blips on each tunnel token and each spawn point. Oh my gosh. So I'm getting the feeling that you are not supposed to survive most of the time that's 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 what i'm getting 
which sounds pretty awesome actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do it. So I hope you've gotten a good idea of what this game is like. I'm going to be playing this game. I'm going to be having a roaring time playing this game. So it looks like a really straightforward game to play. If you want to see me go through the movie by way of going through the campaign of these missions, you let me know. Is it? So is the campaign three missions? Mission one, newt. Mission two, escape. Mission three, survive. I have to see. What's, what is the campaign? Campaign play. Generally, you will play the missions one, two, and three. You can also play the rescue mission and supply mission between normal campaign missions to try and get back characters that have been captured. Oh, cool. Or retrieve much needed supplies to replenish your endurance deck. So I'd have to like make a decision. If you fail to win a mission, that's game over. There's no one left to carry on the campaign. So you'll have to organize another expedition and try again. All right, Ripley number 183. We're gonna do it this time. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. I will catch you in the next one.